What's up, guys? How are you doing today? Well, baby, if you were Jeannie Mai, you were basically confirming everything we thought. What the internet people got to say now, not y'all, but the people in the back. Jenny Mai basically confirmed to us that Jeezy was on some cold-blooded mess and tried to get the jump on her by announcing the divorce. Jenny Mai said she thought her marriage was fine, and we got the video. Jenny Mai said she thought her marriage was cool. Jenny Mai said everything was perfect until it wasn't. Jenny Mai said she found out about her divorce the same time the world did. Now, listen, let me just say this, okay? And <laughs> you know I'm going to say a lot. Jenny Mai was on some, I was raised to please my man. Jenny Mai was on some, use my back as your, as your, what do you call it? As your ottoman, kick your feet up. Jenny Mai was so over the moon in love with Jeezy, it didn't, didn't make any sense. Different from the last time you were here, some unexpected news broke about your, your marriage? I was going through uh, things and marriage ended in divorce and it was kind of hard. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I'm dealing with day by day, you know? And how are you doing now? Um, well, I'm doing, I think I'm doing better now. You know, I Good. think um, at the time when I found out, you know, at the same time as the rest of the world that yeah. my marriage was ending in divorce, I was gutted. So yeah. Today, it's about picking up the pieces. It's about discovering me mm -hmm. and being a mom to the best blessing in my life, my little girl. Yeah. Accentuating yeah. the positive Absolutely. and the beauty in life. Even though this year I met the most broken version of me, I also met the strongest version of I me. A lot of people said she was trying to be manipulative by posting videos of her playing patty cake with their daughter and then being like, look at daddy's um, books, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Jenny, right? Jenny actually did was helping Jeezy promote his book. She thought she was being a supportive wife. She was taking care of their baby while he was out going on book tour. Half of the book tour, Jeezy was talking about how much he loves his wife and what a good woman she was. And then on June 15th, right? On June 15th, he filed for divorce. But Jenny didn't find out until August. Why is that? Well, sources say because of clause eight in their prenup. If you guys don't know, Jenny and Jeezy had a really, really ironclad prenup, okay? That said, if there was ever any talk of cheating, if there was ever any impropriety, being in people's DMs, inappropriate relationship, emotional affairs, right? Then they, she, he would have to play a clause. Now, listen, let me get to this because it's a lot, okay? And then I'm going to show you all the videos because you know I got receipts, okay? Um, all right, so, and then I got a bombshell. Should I announce it now? Should I announce it now? You know what? I'll do it in a different video, but it's a bombshell, okay? Because uh, I'm doing an investigation on it right now. Um, okay, so let me get back to the point. So they had that whole thing in cheating. Now, the funny thing is, a lot of people said that clause, people are like, why would Jeezy sign that? A lot of people said Jeezy signed that, especially when you know you've got that dog in you. I knew he had that dog in him when Nia Long was like, so what do you think about men cheating? And he was like, what? I find that fascinating. Men cheat? When he's cheated on every woman he's been with, including, according to Jenny Mai, her. So let me just take you through the clause. Y'all heard. If you do anything, even DMs, people are like, why would Jeezy? And there is a penalty. If you guys don't know what a penalty is, she don't got to go in front of a judge and fight for the money. All she has to do is prove. Here is proof. The court needs to verify the proof is true. And then she get that money specified. They said it is in the millions. Why would he put such a high penalty if he cheated, if he knew he was out in those streets? Well, funny thing is, everybody's saying, that remember when Jeezy and Jenny Mai were going to get married a while back after they got engaged and everybody was just like, well, when's the wedding? What's taking so long? All this other stuff. Or it might have been a little bit before they got engaged. And she's like, you know what? I don't care. Like, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's relationship is different. People said that Jenny Mai had caught Jeezy doing something inappropriate. It wasn't quite cheating, but it was definitely inappropriate. One of the reasons he even asked for her hand in marriage because real ends don't cheat, right? Real ninjas don't cheat. 
Um, one of the things he did, and that's why he even asked for her hand in marriage, is because something inappropriate had come up during the pandemic, all this other stuff. She was kind of disillusioned. He came back and said, no, don't you know you my everything? And she was like, all right, well, if I'm your everything, put this clause in the prenup. And what can he say? Because at this point, he was feeling Jenny. At this point, he liked the exposure Jenny gave him. Now, don't get me wrong. Jeezy has his career. Jeezy is a rap legend, right? I will still always side eye a grown man um, that is 47 and above wearing like his little brother's uh, uh, clothes and jeans talking about moving weight and all this stuff. Because at the end of the day, it's like, where's the growth? Where's the growth? Have you grown? You know, you still talking about the same month. stuff. adversity for sale. I thought of here anyway. Right. So Jeezy was stuck because he liked the access Jenny gave her, but also he was really, really into G Jenny at that time. Jeezy has a bunch of kids. He has a bunch of fiancés. He is really good at making sure that the woman he's with feels like, oh my God, this is my ultimate. And then he just pulls out when he wants. So um, Jenny was on board. He couldn't figure out a way around it. Like I said, those bait, listen, he ain't know. He thought he was getting sus submissive. As soon as I heard that Jenny was from the Bay Area, I said, oh, you don't play with Bay Area girls. Shout out to Kayla, little Kayla. Um, Make his pockets hurt. If you ever want to see what a Bay Area girl's mindset is, and I say this with all respect, shout out, listen to little Kayla, make his pockets hurt, right? Um, anyway, he was stuck because at the end of the day, why can't you sign it? Because it's only penalizing you if you have an inappropriate relationship. So he signed it. Part of the reason he signed it is because he thought he had all his ducks in a row. See, apparently Jeezy's been had long term side chicks, but they play their role. OK, you don't believe me. His friend just went on live and said, matter of fact, let me let you hear what his friend had to say. Hold on. Meet me after the jump. Let's listen to this. Jeezy, you're not a real, know why? Because your wife just came out and said you cheated on her. And I believe her because I know you. I know you. And I could probably pick on who you cheated on with her with. Because of you, I know you still stay in contact with. I know because they told me I talked to him. You the same. And I know that this has been loyal to shit. He wasn't even loyal to, the, to a dog he got. He got. He had got a dog. He got that dog away in like... Two weeks, two. He, he couldn't do. He was. He's not loyal. It's all good. And Ti, I know that's your city, but you gotta move over. I mean, you know it's your city, but GD said he own half of it. So guess what? That half is about to go to her. It's about to be a Chinatown in Atlanta. Just wait on the Korean barbecue everywhere. All right. So that's what his best friend had to say but here is the connection that everybody's making well at least i'm making that i think other people would y'all remember how we were like yo the one thing that is so crazy to me right is that the one thing that is so crazy to me is the fact that he was very 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 specific with that june 5th deadline and everybody's like but why would you want it to be on june 15th have a legal record but you didn't do it till the august one you want it okay one now keep in mind what jenny said keep in mind that prenup keep in mind what the friend just said you want it to promote your book and during that book some of y'all can be like, oh my God, she cheated too. Stop falling for Jeezy's BS. There is no proof outside of Jeezy saying that she cheated, that she cheated. And please believe that a man that is a much about his money would have tried to get clause eight taken care of it because Jenny says she got proof and Jenny's bringing the proof to the judge. Jeezy's saying she don't got any proof, but from what I hear, baby, he just didn't count on it. Here's the thing while he's filed for June 15th, the streets are saying, okay? One, he wanted to use her for his book for promotion. Because during the book, he was like, oh, my God, I love my wife. She's the best thing. We're partners, blah, blah. And then, boom, out the blue, he filed for separation. Y'all, can anybody guess? Can anybody guess why that June 15th deadline was so oddly put in there so late? Can you guess? Right? Well, my sources are saying that that June 15th deadline pretty much explains away his weird need to post the date 
of, that he was filing for divorce and put it in June. When we all saw them together for that huge Father's Day party they threw for their families. Okay, this is what they actually wrote. So do you now see Jeezy's weird need to post the filing for the divorce on June 15th? Couldn't say anything until Jenny felt comfortable. But, right, when we saw them together for that huge Father's Day party they threw for their families, maybe, at least people are saying, that Jeezy knew that she would find evidence of the cheating after that date if she looked. Or something happened around there or something slipped and he knew the jig was up. And because he had that prenup clause about cheating, it was important. So something happened on or around June 15th that put up Jenny's radar that he had violated that clause or was about to. And Jeezy was not about to, lo to, to lose millions of dollars to Jenny. Again, Jeezy always think he's the smartest person in the world. He is smart. He thinks he's the smartest person in the room. He got a big eagle. The only thing is you didn't see a Bay Area girl coming at you because as much as she was like, I was raised to submit. I was raised to humble myself, baby. No, because you can submit and still keep both eyes open while you licking boots. And, and, and you, listen, even the doormat has eyes. That is why something happened on June 15th or at least June 16th, on and around uh, June 15th, Jeezy went to his lawyer just in case it became an issue. Jenny kept pushing about like, yo, what was that? What is going on? What is going on? He knew the jig is up. He was already over being married and he decided to cut ties. The real, If this is true, the sick part is he literally decided to try to ruin her reputation and make the whole black woman hate her on I mean, seriously, he tried to make the whole black community hate her on the way out. Rumors started up that she was sleeping with her co-host. Rumors started up that Jenny was cheating. He pulled Nia Long into it. And why? Typical ninja, because you was the one cheating and you were running the smoke screen because you were hoping, right? You were hoping that you could get out of that clause and you thought you had cleaned up your mess, but baby, people said Jenny is ready and waiting. I'm doing a little investigation, baby. I'll meet you after the jump. No, actually, I'll let y'all go. I'll meet y'all for the next video, but y'all, I'm on it. I'm on it. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.